What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be sharing a little bit more about how I keep my anime boxes. So if you have a problem like this, then hopefully uh, the video will help you out. And this isn't actually a super complex or like a super secret method. It's actually really simple and most of you probably would have guessed it by now. You simply flatten the boxes. And as you can see, there is probably like 10 to 20 figurines over here and everything is displayed in my IKEA shelf and what I do with these boxes, I simply flatten them by cutting out all the tapes that are on the top and the bottom side. So it's actually super simple and it saves you a huge ton of space. So imagine all the boxes that I have here, all these, they can be flattened and they can be kept super easily. It's just as simple as that really. Since most of you guys would have already opened up the figures. All you gotta do is just take out the additional cardboard pieces inside here and then at the same time simply just do the same thing at the bottom side. You cut up the scotch shape. This will leave the boxes intact and also I believe as mean as possible even though in the future if you do still want to take them back, you can do it. There you go, it's as simple as that. From this space into this. And then you just repeat with all these different boxes, all these different Ben Presto figurines that you have. And ta-da, you'll probably have this. So from the previous few boxes, I've cut them and flattened them up all up. And it's, look at this amount of space that you save. The only problem that you might have is with the additional cardboard pieces and the accessories that might be inside so what i kind of do is basically just sacrifice most of them and then keep one box which is intact so all of these flattened boxes that have accessories inside them i put entire collection into a single box so this is the only one box that i keep with all the additional heads and you know stands that are being kept inside so that's how i save my space as much as i can and you might have to sacrifice a little bit by giving up a couple of all these uh, uh, cardboard boxes but I don't think that's a huge problem if you're gonna just keep your figurines you just want the boxes still to be able to put them back in the future or if you want to sell them it still works I don't think people would be too ass about keeping these uh, wooden cardboard boxes and you simply just want your box to be as mint as possible I mean it's not gonna be perfect but it still looks good no scratches and stuff if you keep them properly so I think that works uh, the best in terms of space and also efficiency so everything is being kept in one box and if you ever need the stands you can just open it up and look for them it's gonna be super simple super quick so yeah that's actually how I keep most of my Banpresto figurines but if you do have other figurines that are huge in, in terms of like box then it might be a little bit different so in terms of uh, boxes like the Grandista or the figure arts you might have to decide whether you still want the plastic that helps keep the figurine inside the box so these are the only bigger problems that I have I will have to decide whether I want to keep the box itself with the plastic or without or just flatten it so that's something that perhaps maybe if you have any idea how you do it please feel free to share down in the comments i would love to know how you guys keep your big boxes as well and for granny star no problem as well you can simply uh take the figure out and also flatten it the same way although the boxes for granny star are much thicker so you probably occupy a bit more space so hopefully this video has helped you guys out to keep your room a little bit more spacious and then you can keep all the flattened boxes somewhere in the shelf hidden so it doesn't really occupy a lot of space and you can still put your figurines back in the boxes if and whenever you want it to so yep thank you guys for watching the video if you like the content please feel free to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up i would super duper appreciate it well, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.